Now, this is the Fox 11 News at Noon. A bit later, we'll take you deep into the bowels of the LA County Assessor's Office, where a fascinating collection of historic documents that no one realized were there has now resurfaced. We'll show you, don't go away. Okay, so when was the last time you climbed into your attic or dove deep into the back of your closets? Who knows what surprises or vintage treasures you might find? Yeah, and that's exactly what some workers did at the L.A. County Assessor's Office. Their office was built in the mid-20th century, and when the workers stepped into an almost never-used library, it was like opening an old vault. Um, they tell the story of L.A. County long ago. Well, this is from 1935. You see he clipped an article about Amelia Earhart um, and a, a, a log of the first solo flight from Hawaii to California. Daily journals detailing life for Angelinos between 1934 and 1951. The old books found in an almost never used library at the L.A. County Assessor's Office. And we found them on these shelves here. The shelves are now being cleared to make room for office space. The discovery, like opening a time capsule. The volumes include newspaper clippings, pictures, and mementos, and provide a window into what was important to Angelinos in the earlier years of the 20th century. Down over here, we have uh, December 7th, 1941, and it includes a newspaper from a couple days later, the Los Angeles Examiner, which indicates how many warships were lost, the number of uh, 2,897 sailors killed in Hawaii. The unlikely historian behind the collection was Donald Cathcart, once a chief appraiser for the county. He seemed to be a very kind and civically oriented man. He uh, uh, put a lot of information in about uh, his family and friends and the, the lives of the families of his employees. Pouring through the pages, you realize just how much has changed since those days. Here's a job posting for deputy field assessor. Sorry. $145. Doesn't say a month. I'm presuming that that was a month because mm -hmm. I think in those days people made like $20 or $25 a, a week in the 30s. You get paid, the, they get paid better now. Um, I think that's about what I make. <laughs> <laughs> Salaries have changed dramatically and so have home prices. Here's an article about the house with golden doorknobs. The former owner of this Bel Air mansion contested the value of his home in order to have his property tax reduced. We valued it at 165000 and he challenged it and it was brought down to 130000 In 1946. 1946. The house is still there. We have it assessed at $29 million. But Angelinos, no matter the generation, also had many of the same concerns. President Roosevelt was running for re-election to his third term. It appears from Mr. Cathcart, who was the author of these uh, journals, that he was a supporter of Wendell Wilkie. Our predecessors were very interested in politics. There was a big election in 1940, and voters kept a close eye on the nation's electoral map. In South Carolina, Roosevelt was expected to get 98% of the vote, but uh, if you were to go to the uh, north, you know, in Michigan, it was a little... Uh, a little bit closer, you had uh, Wilkie winning 52 to 48. Of course, Roosevelt won. Earlier Angelinos were also fierce sports fans. 60,000 people attended the USC UCLA game in 1941, a matchup that ended in a tie. Those much maligned UCLA and Southern California football teams played like champions, only to wind up pretty much where they started. They were also hopeful for LA's future. Here are drawings for the Civic Center in downtown LA and the federal courthouse on Main Street. The projected cost of construction, $6.25 million. If those architects could only see LA now. We're going to donate these to the LA County uh, Museum of Natural History. They maintain archives for the county. Wow, that is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, and obviously, uh, you know, in a small piece like this, you couldn't really get into all the yeah, stuff you, that was a in A lot there, ended up was, on, on the floor, the edit, was, editing. Yeah. Yeah. But, but pretty incredible. All this stuff is going to go to the Museum of Natural History. And, you know, there are a bunch of archives here that really, you know, give us a window into the past. Well done. Thank Very you cool. for sharing.